this is Krisha from KrishaYoung.com. I hope you like that little bit of music. I Today I wanted to pop in here really quickly um, because it is Valentine's week and I'm talking all about love. And I wanted to talk about a often overlooked um, love relationship and that is the one with you. You're likely a woman watching this. Um, you're likely a mother. And you are likely somebody who does not put yourself first. And I'm here just to um, give you permission. Who the hell am I and why would I, you know, have the authority to do that? Well, I'm nobody. But I think that sometimes women need to hear from someone else that it's okay. Um, Self-care is one of those terms that gets thrown around here and there, and there's kind of not really a definition of what that means, really. Um, and it can mean different things to different people. Um, and I think we get caught up in feeling like we need to do everything. It's like all or nothing. I'm either at the gym five times a week and eating super clean and being on a juice cleanse and um, you know X Y Z every single day, or I'm not doing any of that. I'm sitting in front of my computer all day long. Fuck the gym. I have no time for that. I need to spend all my time on my business and um, you know eating clean. I'll do that when I'm when I'm rich and famous. Um, so. It doesn't have to be those two extremes. And if that's your personality type, I encourage you to find a little bit of space in the middle of that. Because what ends up happening is you're doing nothing or you're doing it all. And when you're doing it all, it's overwhelming. And then you go back to doing nothing. So what I would like to just say here today is, um, once again, to give you permission to do something that feels good to you, that is just for you this week. So what are the kinds of things that you can do? You can um, have a bath, have an Epsom salt bath, right? Um, you can take a, a mason jar, fill it with Epsom salts, put a few drops of your favorite essential oil, um, let it infuse, right? And then when it comes time for the bath and all the kids are finally in bed and you're just like done for the day, just sprinkle a little bit of that in your bath water and there you go. Go get a manicure. Um, go take yourself out for lunch or for dinner. Go with a girlfriend. Go with a boyfriend. <laughs> Whatever. Um, go for a walk. Go to the gym. Go to yoga. Uh, go shopping. Browse the internet and, you know, go to like Tiffany.com and pick out a piece of jewelry that you will be buying yourself in the next however many months or years, right? Give yourself permission to be a strong, independent woman, and that includes making sure that you have time for yourself daily, weekly, whatever. And yes, even moms can have this time. I'm a mom of two. I have a four and a half year old and a two and a half year old. Young, young, young children. And I still have to prioritize time for myself or else I will go mental. And what happens when moms go mental? The whole house goes mental, right? When mom is unhappy, when mom is like sad, when mom's resentful, when mom's like, I'm so fucking sick of this shit, the whole house is off. The kids misbehave, the husband's pissed off, um, or wife, whatever. Like, it's not a good scene. And when mom's chilled and happy and fulfilled, then the whole house is chilled and calm and fulfilled. Or if it is a little crazy, mom can handle it, right? Kid goes a little crazy, yeah, it's all right, it's all good. Because I'm cool, because I'm calm. So I challenge you ladies, Pick one thing this week. I don't care what it is, whether it's making a new recipe. Food food can be love, you know. Good nurturing food can be love. Um, just something that you genuinely want to do for yourself, not something that you think you should do. Something that you genuinely want to do for yourself, whatever it is. I don't care. 
just do that one thing and I promise you, you'll start to feel so much better and just banish that guilt, okay? There, there's, or have the guilt, but just accept it. You know, it's part of being a mom is, is having that guilt feeling when you go off and do something for yourself that doesn't involve the rest of the family. It's going to be there. But the point is, is that, you know, to move past it and realize that there's a greater good, right? Like I said before, you're going to come back refreshed. You're going to come back feeling so great and satisfied because you've given yourself that love. So I challenge you and I want you to put it in the comments. Let's do some accountability here. Tell me what you're going to go and do. Go and do it and then take a picture of yourself doing it and be proud of it. You know, we're building these amazing businesses here. We are the new economy. We are, you know, revolutionizing the world as we know it. And we are not going to fucking revolutionize this corporate world or the online business world or business world at all if we are stuck behind a desk 12 hours a day not taking care of ourselves, okay? We are going to be the fastest extinct group of people if we keep working like that. So I encourage you to just go right now, figure it out, what you're going to do, report it in the comments, and then report back how it went. I, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.